I got involved with the Protecting Change Film Festival about three years ago. I had heard about the festival through a friend and then uh, I checked out the website and it was totally in line with what I was interested in theme wise and I yeah I got involved as a volunteer first and I, I organized the outreach team for the first year and then the second year uh, the founders Lindsay and Brady they invited me to take the position as uh, executive director. Um, this year I'm really excited about uh, lots of things actually. We have a new venue, um, we're very excited to be partnered with uh, SFU Woodwards, um, which is great because we'll have a downtown location, a slightly larger theatre, and uh, there's lots of great partnerships that we've uh, set up with the school. Um, we also have some wonderful films and speakers. Uh, a few highlights are Women Are Heroes. It's uh, the first feature film done by uh, French photographer JR, which is a great film that features women uh, around the world that are making a difference in their local communities. Um, captain Paul Watson, uh, the captain of the Sea Shepherds, is coming back for a second year in a row, so that should be a really great night. And we've also just confirmed uh, Severin Suzuki, so she's coming down from the Haida Gwaii and she's going to be at our opening night and speaking after one of the films as well. Well, in addition to projecting change, I'm also the director of distribution at Hello Cool World, and we are uh, basically pioneering a fair trade film distribution model. Um, some of our projects uh, that we're distributing right now are The Corporation and 65 Red Roses. My one big hope for people leaving the festival this year are that they feel more aware about some of the issues that we're faced with as a, as a planet and they feel inspired to, to actually take action and make a difference. I think film is one of the rare, or I think being in a theatre at a film festival is actually one of the rare opportunities we have today to have a captured audience for an extended period of time. In today's world when it's all about sound bites and you know really rapid fire graphics, um, it's really a rare occasion to get someone's attention for that long. So when you have a captured audience or a captive audience for an hour and a half, two hours, you really have a chance to explain the ideas, to present an argument, and then to really engage in a, in a um, constructive dialogue afterwards.